the Sea of Labradors. Everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. I'm Eric. These are all the Labradors. Today, we're going to make cheese. And, cheese? Yeah, I've never made cheese oh, before. Sorry. Sorry. Today, we're going to make cheese. We've never made cheese before. This is a cheater ricotta cheese or a queso blanco, I think it might also be called. But you're basically going to take milk and add an acid to it and heat it up. And the and then we're gonna strain it and make cheese. It's like the cheese, super cheese hack. So what do you think? Besides the camera being banged by the tail. <laughs> <laughs> what, what will we use this cheese for? Well, you could use it on lasagna, you could put it on bread. It's not a cheese you're gonna age, it's a cheese we're gonna eat right away. But instant cheese. Instant cheese, instant cheater hack cheese. All right? All right. Do you guys like cheese? Do you like cheese? They don't know their vocabulary. Say yes. Say yes. Penny, say yes. Well, that was kind of a yes. All right, let's go. Okay, super, super simple. Buy really good milk, first of all. This is uh, the farmer's cow. This supports our local Connecticut farmers. Maybe you have a milk like this, where it's not from a giant cow conglomerate, but it is from, it is from the farmers to a local processor right to you. I was inspired by Karen Solomon's uh, jam at pick a pickle it cure it to make cheese because she has a couple really simple cheese recipes. So he's that book before. Yeah. And there's gonna be a similar storyline here. So <laughs> um, and then I looked on the Serious Eats site and the Simply's recipe site, and the, they're all very, very similar. It's milk, acid, and maybe a little heavy cream, but acid like lemon juice, vinegar, or citric acid. I bought this at the uh, Indian grocery supply store. So we're gonna do it two different ways and see what happens, okay? Ooh. The first one is from uh, J. Kenji Alt uh, Lopez. I think that's how, I always, I always run his name, sorry Kenji. Um, he was a friend of Daniel's by the way. But he takes, so we're gonna take two cups of whole milk. Whole milk. Now a lot of these recipes talk about putting the milk on the stove and heating it up. And what I like about uh, Kenji's variation on this is that, you know, it's really hard. You, you always burn the bottom of the pan and it's a really pain to clean milk out of a pan, right? So he used a different uh, source to get heat into the milk. The microwave? The microwave. Ooh. Now, you remember what happened last time he used the microwave. With the chocolate? It's getting chunkier. It's getting chunkier. The milk seize. Let's find out. <laughs> this is cider vinegar. Um, I just want to see what cider vinegar tastes like. Other people use white vinegar. You can also use lemon juice. But uh, I think cider vinegar is more reliable. So that goes in obviously before you heat it up. Right. This is two tablespoons. What's that doing? It will cause the curds to form, and a little bit of salt. You want to bring this, you want this milk to get up to 165 to 185 degrees. How will you know? We have a thermometer. Ah! Just like Chris Kimball. You know, I've been thinking about making cheese for years, and then I saw Karen's book, and then I saw Kenji's article, and I did some research, and I was like, oh, this is a very simple cheese. Um, this isn't true ricotta, ricotta, or however you say that kind of cheese, which is actually made from the whey of milks, of previous milk solids. This is like a cheetah ricotta, or a queso blanco, I think is the other way, to, another one. But it's, you're making a fresh cheese. It's, it's the kind of cheese that you're going to eat today or tomorrow. It's the soft cheese. It's a soft cheese. Ah, very soft. Not like our cheese cave, like somebody else has. Ah. Hi everyone, I'm Chris Kimball and welcome to the Tasting Lab. Today we have the Tasting Labrador and we're going to be sampling cheeses. I love cheese and at my Vermont farm country cooking Cook's Illustrated cooking country house I have my own cows and I make my own cheese. Needs to go more. It doesn't smell like anything, does it? I can smell the vinegar. Okay. Yeah. 
The thing that uh, about the microwave is the microwave heats from all around and the stove top only heats from the bottom. So if you can get the microwave done correctly and not have an incident, um, it works really well, I think. Okay, that's uh, 170. Give that a stir. So now we just let it sit. Okay, so we let this sit for just a few seconds here. And I've got this kind of screen slotted spoon thing here. So we're gonna take this. We're gonna scoop out the solids. Okay, we're gonna let this one sit. Okay? How long? I don't know. We're just gonna let it, we're gonna let it drain. So it's got a while to drain. Okay. See, because this sieve, this is pretty fine. I wonder if we just could not use the paper towel and let it sit. Yes, I believe you can. So this is our uh, cider vinegar ricotta. Nice, huh? Okay, now we're gonna try citric acid. Three minutes now. This is the citric acid one. Is that less running? It seems more solidy. It came out of the uh, it came out of the Pyrex much easier. Um, save this, your dogs will love it. Okay. So this works pretty good. Just this. Uh, I mean, a lot of people on the web are saying use paper towels, but this sieve, I think, does a good job. This is the citric acid one. It's definitely more curds. Thicker. Okay, first, this is the cider vinegar ricotta. That tastes really good. It does? Yeah, why don't you taste it? Does it taste like cider vinegar? Nope. Huh. This is the one with the citric acid. That, to me, that one, the other one didn't taste the cider vinegar at all. The camera operator sensed the little cider vinegar and aftertaste. The aftertaste, yeah, yeah but... definitely. This is different. It's um, creamier, but they're both really good. Now let's get the camera operator to taste this. Oh, it is very different. Yeah. That one's more traditional, I'd say. That one tastes more like what you would actually put in lasagna. I mean, we just made this in like three minutes. We you know? did. <laughs> is that like a breakfast you're having? I'd say this is a dessert cheese now. So. <laughs> and that's really good. <laughs> wow. I love those. This is great. Go buy some local milk. Make sense and happy. Get, yeah, get your cider vinegar out. <laughs> or citric acid. You can buy citric acid in... Uh, uh, some specialty grocery stores call ahead because I they said the health food stores carry them the health food store near us didn't carry it the food co-op didn't carry it either